Hello and welcome to this video for Excel Chapter 3 Practice Exercise, or excuse me, Excel Chapter 1 Practice Exercise Number 3. So, Chapter 1 Practice Exercise Number 3, we're on page 477 of your textbook, page 477. You can turn there as I read through the information at the top. You are the assistant manager at Downtown Theater where touring Broadway plays and musicals are performed and you will analyze ticket sales by completing a worksheet that focuses on seating charts for each performance. The spreadsheet will identify the seating sections, total seats in each section, and the number of seats sold for a performance. You will then calculate the percentage of seats sold and unsold and of course you can refer to figure 162 throughout the exercise. So first part of the exercise is opening up Excel Chapter 1 Practice Exercise 3 Ticket Sales. So I've already done that here, that's step A. And it says we're going to save it with our name attached to it. So File, Save As, and of course I'm going to click Browse. I'm going to go to the appropriate folder. You are going to set it up on your flash drive. So click down here and I'm just if I can get this to show right, underscore, and of course my last name, and then first. And we save that. All right, step B, it says here to double click sheet one, sheet tab. So right down here, sheet one, sheet tab, these are sheet tabs here. Double click it and change it to seating. Seating, then push enter. Step C says in cell A3, so right here A3, we need to type in the following, 3 slash 31 slash 2018, and press enter. So I've typed it in, don't worry about changing that just yet. It says format the title for step D, so we're going to do that right now, formatting the title, step D. So it says select range A1 through E1, so I'm going to go up here. Click on A1, scroll across to E1. So those are selected, the title. Click Merge and Center in our alignment group. Then it says in Cell Style, uh, click Cell Styles in the Styles group. So basically the idea of we're clicking the More button here. So we can see our Cell Styles. And then it says select Title in the Titles and Headings section. So here's Titles and Headings section, and we're going to Title. And then, of course, click bold in the font group. I'm going to hold down control and B to do that. And it's now made it bold. I'll zoom in a little bit more here so you can see this information a little bit better. Then, step E, it says we're going to format the subtitle and date. So let's select range A2 through E2. And we're going to merge and center it. And then we're going to select A3, A3, excuse me, through E3, and we're going to merge and center that. And there you go. Step F, it says select range A5. So step F, A5 through E5. Oh, excuse me, I went A5 through E5. I actually got F. A5 through E5. Click wrap text. And then it says center it, so alignment group, and we're going to center it. And then it says click bold, so control B to format the column labels, and it looks like that so far. Then it says step G, right click the row 9 heading. So over here I'm going to row 9 heading, I right click on it, and it says select insert. So I click the word insert, it makes a new row right there. It pushes down the stuff that was in row 9 to number or row 10. It says type the following data. Type the following data. So I'm putting in here back floor, 132, and 108. So those three things, back floor, 132, and 108. All right, step H, move the balcony row. So this is step H, move the balcony row to be the last row by doing the following. Click the row 6 heading. So right here, row 6, I click on it. Then it says click cut in the clipboard group on the home tab page. So up here, my clipboard group, I click cut. You can see we have those moving lines here showing that it has been cut. Right click the row 12 heading. So I need to zoom this out just a little bit more. Right click the row 12 heading. 
and you're gonna, we're going to click Insert Cut Cells. So we move that row. Insert Cut Cells. And now I can zoom back in a little bit because we don't have that row 12 anymore. Then it says Step I. We're going to adjust the column widths by doing the following. Double click between column A and column B. So up here, column A, column B, I double click. It adjusts it for me. And then it says select column B and C headings. So B and C. I just click and drag across the headings there. And I'm going to click Format in the Cells Group. So over here, Cells Group, Format. Select Column Width. Over here, Column Width. And we're going to type 9 in the Column Width box. 9. And click OK. Because the columns B and C contain similar data, you set the same width for those columns. Then step D, or not step D, just the next part, set the width of columns D and E. So I click on the column D header, click on the column E header, and I'm setting the column width to 12. So I'm going to go to format again, column width, switching it from 8.43 to 12. And then I'm going to click OK. All right, then step J, I'm going to select range B6, so B6 right there, the number 25, through C11, so C11, so basically those two columns, that section right there, that range. Then I'm going to click align right, so right now alignment doesn't have anything there, I'm going to click align right, and then I'm also going to click increase indent twice, so here's my indent twice. In the alignment group. All right, we're on the next page here on step K. So next page, step K, and it says we're going to click cell D6. So cell D6 right here under that heading, cell D6. Use semi-selection to calculate and format the, or excuse me, format, well, format the percentage of sold and unsold seats by doing the following. We're going to type in the equal sign, and then we're going to click cell C6. Six. It's so right here, cell C6. Then a slash, and then it says click cell B6. So C6, B6 to make it that. Then it says press tab to enter the formula. Tab. Now you notice when we push tab, as opposed to enter, where enter goes down, tab goes to the right and make cell E6 active, which it is. This formula divides the number of seats sold by the total number of box seats. All right, next we're going to type in here equals, and then I'm just going to type this in. It's easy to do with the magnifier on B6 minus C6, closing parentheses, slash B6. So it should look like this here um, in the cell we're in, which is E6. And then push Enter on the left side of the formula bar to enter the formula and keep C. Uh, E6, the active cell. So I'm going to go up here to enter and click, and it did that for me right there. All right, then it says select range D6 through E6. So D6 through E6, like that. And it says click percent style. So I go up here, here's percent style right here. I could also click and go through this list. But I'll click right here, percent style, changes to percents. And then it says increase the decimal. Uh, click increase decimal in the number group. So right here, I've got increase. So I'm going to click it. And it says keep the range selected. Then it says double click the cell E6 fill handle. So I'm coming down here to the cell E6 fill handle. I still have the same thing selected. Double click. And it will copy to all the active rows. And still it says keep the range selected so don't click anywhere else then it says click align right so right now I'm going to click up here align right and then it says click increase indent so right here increase indent and it says to do it twice so two times it should look like this and it basically helps center the data without clicking center alright then step L it says display and preserve a screenshot of the formulas by doing the following. We're going to create a new sheet. So create a new sheet. So right here I'm going to click the plus arrow. Then it says 
double click the sheet one sheet tab so I'm gonna double click here and type in formulas so you notice this is becoming a trend of where we'll do a formulas one for almost not every single one but for a good portion so I'm typing in formulas and then pressing enter on my keyboard then it says click the view tab click grid lines in the show group to hide the grid line so I'm actually unchecking the box here this action will prevent the cell grid lines from bleeding through the screenshot you're about to embed then it says click the sheeting seat or the well excuse me seating sheet tab so right down here seating sheet tab worksheet tab then it says click the formulas tab so we looked at this one we're clicking the formulas tab on the ribbon excuse me so seating worksheet and then formulas tab up here at the top then it says click show formulas in the formula auditing group so formula auditing group click show formulas to do that then it says click cell a1 and drag through cell e11 cell a1 through cell e11 then it says click the home tab click the copy arrow so copy arrow and it says copy as picture then click OK so we're just clicking OK then it says click on the formula worksheet tab click cell A1 which it already has it clicked and selected and choose click paste and there it is as a picture on our screen here so it's matching what we had there before then it says click page layout so page layout tab we're clicking orientation and um, in the page setup group and we're choosing landscape then it says click the seating sheet tab so seating sheet worksheet tab and then we're gonna click the formulas tab up here and we're gonna click show formulas in the auditing group so that way it goes back to how it was before alright we're almost done we got about four steps left step M click the seating sheet tab so I have that selected already then it says hold down control and click formulas sheet tab so I've grouped them together I have both of them selected they're grouped click the page layout tab up here at the top after you've grouped them together we're going to click margins in the page setup group so page setup margins we're going to choose custom margins at the bottom and that says in the center on page section choose the horizontally checkbox to select it and then of course we're going to click print preview it's going to take a little bit to load the print preview for us and of course you can see excel centers it in uh, the middle here and of course verify each one prints on just one page so I click the right arrow and now of course you can see um, that it does not um, have it selected to print on just the one page so it says if not go back into the page setup dialog box for each worksheet and reapply settings as needed so what I can do here for this one is actually say fit sheet on one page so you notice I went back here to the page or the two in the preview and then select a fit sheet on one page then press escape to leave the print preview mode all right we're on step n click the page setup dialog box launcher so here's my page setup group here is the dialog box launcher for it click the header and footer tab so header and footer tab in the page setup dialog box and click custom footer so right over here custom footer click in the left section of the footer so over here's my left section of the footer and it says type your name so mister rogers then it says we're gonna click in to the center one and choose insert sheet name so that's file name here's sheet name and then in the right section we're choosing to insert the file name so this is file name here 
then click OK. And then, of course, click OK again. It says to right click the sheeting, oh wow, seating sheet tab, right click it, and then ungroup sheets. All right, save the file. This is what it should look like at the end. So here's my, I have two worksheets um, in here. I have my work, uh, seating worksheet, I have my formulas worksheet. Seating looks like this. And of course, formulas looks like that. I want to zoom in a little bit here so you can see it better. Just a copy of what it was in the formulas mode. So Excel, chapter one, practice exercise number three, that is how you do it.